Hello there. This is Robbie Burns. You see in front of me my iPad Pro. And I'm here today to do a little video demo of editing audio with Ferrite Recording Studio using some gestures with my fingers and the Apple Pencil directly on the screen. Uh, I've been thinking lately that there are a lot of things I want to convey that are a lot more efficient with video, and so I thought today I would do a little video blogging just to demo this rather than trying to explain this in written form. So I am currently editing an episode of a podcast that I do with Nashville-based educator Craig McClellan. The show is called The Class Nerd, and we have lately been editing all of our episodes on Ferrite Recording Studio. Uh, before this, I was using Logic, and Logic Pro is great. It's got hundreds of features that Ferrite does not have. Um, it has a lot of keyboard shortcuts in particular that I like, but I'm finding that the really minute edits are a lot easier to do with finger and pencil. So let me model this for you. I've got my Apple Pencil here. It just snaps right on top. Uh, I have the keyboard attached. I might demo a keyboard shortcut or two in a second. Um, but this, you can imagine, if the iPad is detached from its dock, I can like just kind of chill on the couch with this in my lap and do all the edits I'm about to show you really comfortably. So the very first thing that's cool is the second generation Apple Pencil actually allows you to create a double tap gesture, which in Ferrite you can customize to do almost anything you want. So I'm gonna double tap to play pause. Super great for me because as I mentioned before, my handwriting is atrocious. Uh, but it's still really nice. It it, it does the job. Um, sorry. I really am now just trying to screw you over. Um, it does allow you to... So you can see here that my co-host has restated something around here that he was beginning to say here, and he, he messed up, so he wanted to redo that. So let me show you here. Usually this would be a lot of clicking and dragging with my finger on the trackpad, but I'm gonna grab, this is just so easy to grab this little tool right here and move around to the precise spot that I want. You can see here, I mean, it is just so easy to be precise with something like the Apple Pencil. I mean, I can really get in where I want. And if I can't, then dragging is much easier to do. I mean, that gesture and this, like the feeling of just interacting directly on screen is so much more natural than with a keyboard and a trackpad or a mouse, which is a much less direct way of manipulating. So let me again. The job, um, sorry, atrocious, uh, but it's still really nice. It, it, it does, the j handwriting is atrocious. Okay, so that's around the spot that I wanna cut. Now I'm gonna get it right there. What's really cool is the tapping gestures in Ferrite. I can just double tap a region. Oops, double, I'm sorry, double tapping highlights the whole entire track. I'm gonna just tap once. And then I'm gonna tap again, and then I'm gonna split. Now you see here I've got this region selected. I can really easily tap to get a delete option. Of course, I can also hit Command, Delete. So I've got, if my left hand isn't holding my phone to record, it can just be on the keyboard. And that makes that interaction really, really natural. Now, uh, I can triple tap to grab everything from an insertion point or from my pencils tap, and then to the right. So now I've grabbed the whole rest of the episode and I'm just gonna drag that right. It's actually even gonna snap right to the end of my previous audio region. This doesn't work super great for me because as I mentioned before, my handwriting is atrocious. It does allow you to... All right, I'm pretty happy with that. So I, I demoed it really slow, but you can get a feeling that um, these kinds of interactions are faster and more natural and, and just less frustrating. Um, what I just did arguably could be done in the same amount of time with a trackpad or a mouse, but uh, I just find it entirely more frustrating um, in a way that interacting directly on a screen is not. So hopefully to those of you who are interested, this is helpful. Um, Ferrite Recording Studio is a great app. It's especially great for doing podcasts. It's got a lot of 
tools for editing the metadata of the show, things like show notes and album artwork and all of that stuff. But you can do music in it really easily too. All right, thanks for checking this out. See you next time.